There is nothing any better than a Watergate salad and having it in a graham cracker crust makes the Watergate salad pie, the Watergate pie, even better to me. Good evening, y'all. It's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, and today we are making a Watergate salad in a pie crust. So we'll call it pistachio pie for the kids because you know a lot of kids won't touch a salad on the table, but they'll sure eat a piece of pie. We're gonna use the same ingredients that we use in the salad, but we're gonna put it in a pie crust. It's gonna be so good and so delicious with the addition of the graham cracker crust. And it's convenient. All right, for pistachio pudding, um, you actually use a 20 ounce container of crushed pineapple and the juice in that pineapple thickens this pudding to create a thick enough consistency to cut a piece of pie. We're also gonna be using some sour cream, some maraschino cherries, which are one of my very favorite things in the world. A little salt makes all the sweet things taste even better. Some Cool Whip or whipped topping and some pecans. We'll do a little decorating on the top with marshmallows, just the mini ones, but I'm not gonna use them inside the salad or the pie filling, okay? Whichever one you wanna call it, right? So we're gonna start with putting in a container, a 3.4 ounce container of pistachio pudding. This is a Jell-O instant pudding. You can get it in sugar-free if your store has it or in regular, all right? I'm gonna add this to my bowl. Now, I'm gonna bring y'all a little bit closer so you can see all the fun. All right, we've got our pudding in the bowl. We're going to go ahead and add our salt. You're just going to add about a quarter teaspoon, so it's about a pinch. So we'll just put a pinch of salt in it, okay? Now, we're going to add our crushed pineapple. And instead of using a wire whisk, I may as well just use a spoon, right? Or a spatula would be even better so that y'all don't hear the spoon clanging against the bowl. So we're gonna mix this up. That's the pudding. And a 20 ounce container of crushed pineapple. Three point four ounce pudding. Mix it up good, so that it don't get lumpy dumpy in between what you're doing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add some cherries. You're going to add about ten cherries. I'm going to save a couple of them for, or at least one for the top of the pie. So pick out the prettiest one. This is really beautiful cherry. We're going to lay it right here in our pie crust. And then I actually got cherries with the stems on the last time I was in there. You have to get those if you're wondering where they are. If you want to make uh, chocolate covered cherries or something like that this holiday season, you have to get the cherries with stems on them near the ice cream toppings in the, in the grocery store. So you won't find these where most of the cherries are in the fruit section grocery store may be a little different than mine, and you might find them over there. But, oh, in our, in our neck of the woods, we have to go to the ice cream section. Now you can cut these up really small, or however big you want them. This is a really good fruit salad. And what I like about it is if you keep Cool Whip in the freezer, you don't have to go buy anything special for the salad. Most everything in it, or everything in it really, can be kept in the pantry for a while. So it's nice to have these ingredients ready and in the pantry all the time. My mother didn't make a lot of fruit salads and it's because she was such a good baker. She was always the cake person on the holidays. She always made her fresh coconut cake. I do have a recipe for that. If you want to Google search it, make sure you use my recipe. It is the best ever, and you will love it. All 
Now, if you don't like maraschino cherries, of course you can leave them out of this. But I sure love them. About the only time I eat pistachio pudding is in a Watergate salad or my mother-in-law makes pistachio delight instead of chocolate delight and it's really good. Now we're gonna add some sour cream. And this is optional. You don't have to put the sour cream in it if you don't like it. But we love it. That adds a little bit of sour to the sweet, which makes it taste really good. Instead of the sour cream, if you don't like it, you could always add a little bit of lemon juice. That would do too. So we're gonna lay our little cherry right here Bring this over. Oh, we about forgot to put our nuts in here. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, I'm a nut. So you're gonna put about a half cup of chopped pecans in it. Some of my pecans weren't completely chopped, but that's all right. We're gonna mix those in, and we're gonna get the, this in our pie shell. Then we're gonna put some Cool Whip on top of it and decorate the top a little to make it pretty. This is a lot of filling to go in one pie, but you know what? I like to get a piece of pie that has a lot of filling, don't you? I don't like a piece of pie that's got a filling that's about that tall. You're like, where's my pie? <laughs> it actually fills it up perfect. And that's what you want. We all like the word perfect, don't we? All right, we're gonna open our Cool Whip and I'm gonna top it with some Cool Whip and then we're gonna decorate it a little bit. Let's get out a decorating bag for fun. Boy, does it really make a difference in how your desserts look. If you don't have a piping bag and a good tip and these nice little spatulas, can I suggest you go on my website and get them? Because it's almost time for the holidays and it only takes a second to make something look beautiful. Well, Lord, I forgot to put the tip in it. And it only takes a second to do something goofy like I do, too. I'm so goofy. Sometimes. Just like Mama was sometimes. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to put it in there. This tip is one of my favorites. It's 2F. It's the number of the tip. It's a Wilton tip. I'll put it back in here. And let's start again. I'd like to get y'all a little closer. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Remember that commercial? Get a little closer with arid extra dry. I don't know. I just don't know if commercials are what they used to be. I know TV's not. I sure wish it was. But now there's some things I'm glad it's not like it used to be. Like I like my washing machine and my dryer and my air fryer and my microwave and my stove and all my gadgets. No way I wouldn't want to go back. All right, let's get this on this pie and make it pretty. That's a heavy pie, y'all. It's heavy. Heavy. A lot of stuff in that. All right, let's get us a border on it. If you wonder why I don't go on the edge, it's because I like to put the lid back on. In case you're wondering, if you get too close, you just make a mess when you get the lid back put on. This is a pretty pie, y'all. So we'll put a cherry on the top, and instead of putting marshmallows in it, I was just gonna put a few on the top. So we're just gonna put a few marshmallows on it, just for decoration. And a few pecans. Looks delish. What do y'all think? 
Watergate pie. It's the next day after we made our pie. And me and Chris got a piece last night and it is kind of soft. So I am gonna change the recipe just a little bit and not use a big can of pineapple. I'm gonna use the smaller can of pineapple. Um, and that way the juice will be reduced in the amount of pineapple and I think you'll have more of a pistachio flavor. Now, this is exactly like the salad is made. So if that's the way you like it, go ahead and make the pie this way. But I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. For a pie, this is the next day. And this is about the consistency if you add that large can of pineapple. And you may want to do it. It actually looks pretty good, don't it? I'll tell you what, it's so good, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'll just make an option. Okay, when I give you the recipe, I'm gonna make an option. And it's going to be an option to use a smaller can of pineapple, which will make the pudding thicker. And it'll have less pineapple in it. This is it with the original recipe. And as long as you refrigerate it overnight, it's going to set up this well. It looks pretty good. You want to taste it? You hadn't tasted it for me. Yeah, I've tasted it already. Oh, you did? Yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I didn't. With the crust? No, no you couldn't have. You're crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. But so I'm that's not, a pretty piece, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to mess this piece up because it's so pretty. So... I'm gonna give this one a try. The one that's in my, I'm gonna get some crust with it too. And Cool Whip. I'm gonna tell you, that is hard to beat. There is nothing any better than a Watergate salad and having it in a graham cracker crust makes the Watergate salad pie, the Watergate pie, even better to me. Well, it's good. Thanks so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks. Where we cook, like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.